Good morning. I am uh, out in my backyard and I came out here yesterday morning, Sunday morning, after a Saturday night storm and recognized that um, I had a major branch of a tree that came down. And that is a big heavy branch and my neighbors and I were actually a little bit concerned that the rest of this tree could end up losing um, a branch or two from another storm that came through last night. In fact, as I walk around this tree, I can show you where this branch came down. And it has taken out a substantial part of um, another main limb there on the tree. And that one that has been compromised um, is the concern. That might have to come down as well. You know, 2020 has felt like a storm of its own. From COVID through all of the divisiveness in our nation, um, unemployment that's crazy, and um, we're all dealing with our own storms. They may be physical in nature, maybe our health isn't holding up the way that we are hoping it would, Emotionally, we might feel like we're ready to snap, just like that branch did up there. Mentally, the stresses of uh, our times, it can be a heavy load and a heavy burden. And maybe you don't even feel like you're ready to snap. Maybe you feel like this branch, like you already have. And you're just laying there helpless, waiting to be taken away. I'm going to share um, a couple of verses this morning from 2 Corinthians, written by the Apostle Paul, uh, who knew a little bit about suffering. He knew a little bit about persecution. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, he writes, But we have this treasure in clay jars, so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life is in you. We have life in us through Jesus Christ. We've got the ability to get through one day at a time. We may be very anxious about days to come, but we can trust that Jesus is with us. And when we can find no way, a way will be provided for us. God bless you. Have a good Monday. Connect with your loved ones. Make sure that you've got support, a support system that helps you get through the difficult days and nights. And I pray that you have peace in your heart and the strength to go day by day. Have a great day. Goodbye.